Welcome to Bonfire 5, Part 2 in the Epic uh, Trilogy. Technically, it's actually Part 6. Part well, 6. What did I say? Episode five? 6. Well, it's Part 5, Number 2. I'm already confused. But this is going to get less confusing because we're going to talk about the second part of our regional dealer group websites. In this series... I gave him a oh, sneak peek. I'm sorry. In this series, we're going to talk about content management. Power to the people, as Dan likes to say. Power to the agencies. Power to the dealers. Giving them unprecedented control over their sites. What are they going to see uh, in this episode? Well, actually, right in here, we can start off right away by showing how the dealerships, the agencies, and the regions have control over some of the content on the site. You're actually going to have a dashboard where you can control the HTML text on the home page of your site. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you'll be able to match up that text with the keywords that your media team is buying, going back to the transparency of having your media team working with your account team, and you'll be able to increase your placement in organic search on search engines. That's right. So that's a pretty cool thing. Change it every month. Change it as often as you like. We don't stop there, though. How about offers? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, agency people come to us and they say, you know what, our biggest challenge is we're always updating our offers, redoing creative, changing things. We throw all that out the door for you. All of the offers in here are fed directly from ISIS, from Ford's ISIS system. A direct feed right into there, no hard coding of the offers. Automatically displayed. Consumer types in their zip code displays the offer. In fact, our smart sites actually grab the zip code prior to them even typing it in and displaying the offer without them even having to do anything. But the key point here is we have direct access to ISIS. We display the offers without uh, all dynamically uh, for the technical folks via XML feed. Uh, right. All as dynamic. As soon as you update it, it's going to go live on your site. That's it. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. Cool. What's pretty, the next one? Pretty good. Next thing is revolutionary, cool. unprecedented mm -hmm. event pro. We call it Event Pro. We call it Event Pro. All the dealer groups out there that do regular events, uh, take a look at this. I think you're going to like it. This actually came about as, of, uh, as a result of some of the dealer groups <coughs> asking for this innovation, saying, I do, I do dealer group events all the time. I want a way to start promoting those events in advance or bring people back to the site after I've done an event. That's Show right. them how it works. Vehicle displays, auto shows, anything that you put a vehicle out there in public for. Mm -hmm. You can actually come in here as an agency person. You have a dashboard, again, that you can work with to set up pictures from events, pictures promoting events. Give a, a logo or an image talking about a sponsorship. You can put in the dates that the event is going to occur, a little description of the event. So when you do a follow-up email after the event, thanking those people for coming to the event, you can link them back to the site, showing them uh, all the images uh, that, are, that are relevant to that event. Absolutely. So that's some of the content management that you're going to have access to using these new Flashpoint Next Generation sites. Moving on to episode three, we're going to be covering analytics and lead generation Absolutely. and lead delivery. Before that, we really should give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. They're saying to themselves, why is Dan wearing that Detroit shirt? Mm -hmm. Would you like to be the one to announce the big news? As of March 1st, Flashpoint is opening up an office in Detroit Motor Company to better serve Ford Motor Company and Lincoln Mercury dealers. We're really excited about it. And uh, Dan is going to be heading up that office in Detroit starting March 1st. You know uh, who to call in Detroit. That's right. I've got my parka, I've got my mittens, and my toque. And that's it for Episode 2. In Episode 3, we're also going to touch on some of the controversial... Uh, we're going to go to the mailbag from our controversial holiday bonfire. Thanks for joining us in Episode 5. 6. 5.6. Six. Slash 6. I think that went well. I think it went well. I think that went yeah, well. it was good.